multiple teams, one backlog coming addition. Still, epics, simple. As everything in Taiga, it's simple. It doesn't get complicated. It's flexible. You could start with, uh, you know, very very simple stuff and and get your way to very sophisticated, agile mindset um, features. That is fine. But I think epics are good to have overall an idea. So here, would you would you could have like team uh, teams uh, as in and epics. Like these are the different teams. Uh, with their, their respective user stories. And the Kanban, uh, you would have different swim lanes. So this will be my suggestion. So do you have uh, many teams? Do you have many swim lanes? Now, exactly how I would set up. I would go to uh, settings, again, uh, epics and Kanban. I would go to uh, attributes, Kanban options, and just set up here the different um, swim lanes. Team, I will name them after the teams that are uh, assigned to them, right? And um, why not perhaps adding whip limits to different columns and then the default uh, swim lane, which would be called very conveniently backlog. So the backlog here would act as the place where you actually create new stuff. Like this is this is new new work that we have to do. But the moment they, they, re they, they reach to ready status, you um, are going to do this for for a, for a second the moment you do this uh team one or team two or team three could actually take uh any user story from the ready status if you are following the same uh sequential process where team one actually gets uh the you know the task and then when it's finished team two takes that that as an input and then the output of team two is actually team three input then, uh, which is fine, you know, uh, uh, that's fine. Uh, you would basically uh, do that, and then anything ready to validate here or done uh, would become team number two new. And you would basically chain um, all three teams. And this would be like the final, final uh, finish line for the for the task. You, again, you can you can filter. You can you can say okay. Okay, fine, but you know, what's what's about Pablo? You know, what's about me? You know, this is this is what you get, right? Um, the why would you pick the Kanban edition and not the Scrum edition? So Scrum is we have the backlog and then we have sprints. Kanban is we have this swim lane called the backlog and then we have swim lanes, right? I think it depends um very much on the need to have full visibility like i need to have this bird's eye view uh regardless of you know whatever team is doing scrum is more uh with the sprints you have the sprint task board and that you do focus you focus on the sprint kanban is like here's everything of course you could collapse the backlog uh or you could collapse team two if you are if you're basically team one this is this is your this is your Kanban view, right? This is your custom. This is only for you. This is your browser, your user settings, and this is for you. So you could, in a way, focus the same way as as a sprint as what does. But you're one click away, one click away from basically seeing everything. So depending on the number of tasks and the importance of uh, visibility, uh, you could you you would like to go for a more detailed task based, uh, you know, detail scrum approach or a more generic uh, bird's eye view uh, with a camera.